What's up everyone, Garrett here from Code the Web, and in this video we're going to be using an app called Sketch 3 to make this awesome icon that we've got in front of us here right now. So let's talk about what Sketch 3 is. Um, Sketch 3 was an app, is an app, that was made specifically for designers, for web designers, for app designers, for people that need to design the layout and the feel of their app or of their website or even just make icons but don't necessarily want to use Photoshop or don't want to pay for Photoshop. So while Photoshop can do pretty much anything under the sun when it comes to graphics, Sketch 3 is not necessarily a lighter weight version of Photoshop, but it's just a graphic application that is more that is designed more for a specific use in the graphics world. Um, and that is for, once again, designing your apps, your website, or icons, or any other graphics that you might need for your app or for your website. So today we're going to be making that icon that I showed you guys before. So let's go fire up Sketch 3 um, and we're going to get started. Uh, if you don't have Sketch 3, I believe it's for sale on the App Store for under $100. There may be a trial version of it. I'm not 100% sure, but if there is, definitely check it out. Um, if you haven't bought Photoshop yet, uh, but you need a graphic design um, app and all you're going to be doing is like web design stuff and app design stuff, I highly recommend Sketch 3. It's a lot cheaper, and it's specifically made for this purpose. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to hit A on our keyboard, and this is going to bring up on the right-hand side different uh, screens that we can kind of design for. And we're going to go to iPad and hit Landscape. Next, uh, we're going to go up to Insert, Shape, Rectangle, and we're going to insert all of the shapes that we're going to be using first. And then we're going to start to style them, manipulate them, and that's when you'll see everything kind of come together and take shape. We're going to go up to insert again, rounded rectangle. Just drag it out. doesn't really matter what the size is as of right now. Next, the oval. Hold down shift to make it a circle and let go. And then the last thing is going to be triangle. You don't have to hold down shift for this. Just drag out a triangle. So let's go to, we're going to click on the big rectangle. That was the first one that we created. We're going to hit, we're going to uncheck borders. We're going to go to fill. We're going to go to gradient. And I already have this blue that I really like that I used. Um, and the hex code I will put down in the description just so you guys have it right now. It is 64D2FF. Really, really nice blue that we have there. Now go to the black side. Put that hex code in there again. And we're going to come over and drag it so it's a little bit darker. Just a tad bit. Now, go to the big, the rounded corners square, and we're going to set the size to 400 by 400, and the radius is going to be 140 px. There we go. Now, we're going to come up to the top, and we're going to center it vertically and horizontally, and we're going to take away the borders and set the fill to just a solid white. Now we're going to come to the circle. We're going to set this size to 150 by 150. And we don't have to center it just yet, although we can just kind of put it in the center right there. We're going to turn off the borders again. Um, actually, it doesn't really, yeah, we can do that. It doesn't really matter um, for right now. But now that we have that, we're going to come over to the triangle and we're going to set the triangle to equilateral. And that's very, very important that we do that. It's going to be easier to combine it with the circle. And we're also going to make the height or the yeah, height and width 150 by 150. And now we're going to drag this in. And as you'll see, one thing that Photoshop doesn't have that this app sketch does are these guides that make it really, really easy to combine things, move things around um, and position them the way that we want to. So now that we've done that, we're going to go up to edit and we're going to make these corners 34 pixels. And that's going to make this look less like a triangle and more like a water droplet. Now we're going to hit finish edit editing and we're going to hit shift. Click on the circle. So now we have them both selected and hit union, which is going to make them one uh, one thing. And we're going to center those inside of the image. Now we're going to turn off the borders. And we're going to go to fill the radial gradient, which is just the circular one. And we're going to drag this circle so it's kind of in where the actual circle was. Uh, maybe even up a little bit. And we're going to make this side, this white side is going to be the blue. 
except that we're going to start with our blue, we're, but we're going to darken it a little bit to like there. And the hex that we have there is 00ABF1. I'll also put that in the description. Now we're going to make this other side, which was the black side. We're going to make it the gradient that we used before, the light gradient. We can even darken this a little bit. Hmm. That's too much. Okay, perfect. But what we're going to do is we're going to drag this circle in a little bit so that we can see that it's kind of glowing like that. And now, believe it or not, we only have uh, two more things to do, and one of them is kind of optional. So what we're going to do is we're going to click back on our icon right here, and we're going to go down to Shadows and click on that, and we're going to go Color. We're going to copy and paste from our blue, and we're just going to bring this down so it's a darker version of our blue. Um, and what I used right there, what I ended up with was 0085BB. Um, we're going to set the Y to 10. 10. The blur is going to be 25. And the spread is going to be 5. Okay, cool. So now that's it for the drop shadow there. The last thing we're going to do, and this is optional, like I mentioned before, is the inner shadow. And what this is going to do is kind of add a little bit of a glow. Although, whoops, that's not what we want. Although I'm, you know, I don't really care for that glow so much. So it is completely up to you guys if you use it or if you don't use it. Um, but let's just take a look. We'll add it. We'll see how we like it. And if you guys like it, then you can uh, you can you can use it. I think I also no never mind didn't do that. So we're gonna add that. We're gonna make this a little bit less faded because it was a little faded before. We're gonna bring the Y to negative five, and the blur is gonna be twenty. Yeah, and the spread is gonna be zero. Um, we can even bring the, no, never mind. Yeah, no, bring the Y up to like 10 if you're going to do that too. Or like maybe a little bit less. Seven. Something like that. Whatever. Um, so this is our finished product right here. Uh, pretty much what we started with before, just the blues are a little bit different. And I actually like this blue better. So anyway, thanks for watching guys. I hope you guys think Sketch 3 is an awesome application. We're going to be doing a lot of really cool stuff with Sketch 3 and with Photoshop moving forward. Um, so yeah, if you do like that, if you want to learn more about these applications and other stuff, and then we'll start to code with them actually after, definitely subscribe. We make videos like this every Thursday, so it's pretty cool. Um, and also follow us on Twitter and Facebook. Both links will be in the description. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you next week. Take care. Bye-bye.